Hello and welcome, welcome to another edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Um, we had a request on the site, we've done a few telegraph puzzles recently and somebody asked if we could do just the basic uh, cryptic crossword that the telegraph does. So not, not a telegraph toughy as they're called, but a, a normal one. Um, now what I'm going to do is attempt to show you um, uh, the sort of level of a telegraph crossword. So I'm going to try and solve this sort of pretty quickly um, and then I'm going to go back through the clues afterwards and explain what I was thinking and why I was thinking uh, uh, what I was thinking um, and we'll go from there. The, the idea of this really is to show you that this crossword is normally a great building block um, for learning how to solve cryptic crosswords. Um, I'm sure that many of the um, sort of competitive solvers will have cut their teeth on the telegraph puzzle because it's the most accessible. Um, I certainly did. My dad taught me how to do the telegraph cross crossword many, many years ago. And um, yeah, this is, hopefully I'm now going to show you how how good you can get at them. So without further ado, let's go. Uh, let's look at one down. Nation short of a feature. Okay, so that's China without its end. Man resting... Uh, Cleric, I don't know. Current business week is infirm. Two down. Twig about new time for rejuvenation. Um, I don't know. Three down. Something for winter ending in Christmas present. Snow. Uh, single file. We abandoned ship. Single wifeless. Down refuse collector going around on holiday with genius. A uh, place for shopping channel. Uh, don't know. Down. Fan has a damp area bandaged by doctor. in bistro, roost, ultimately abhorrent motive, treason, soft, small and smelly, uh, cut oxygen perhaps, then hydrogen, gash, so, at this one, I would put already chaplain and this is, chaplain, Fearing hell art extraordinarily exaggerated. Fearing. I can't see the clue here. Mock trial if CRCA. Mock is going to be artificial. Oh, why won't it let me type it? Uh, minor irritation, itch, oath for example is this, or letter word, litter, hardly each, still more than delighted. with different tiles when red or white is chosen on the line list. Okay, so when bread snack is near bananas. Um, why am I not writing that in? Um, evocative haunting. Sorry. <laughs> Totally sacred holy. Oh no 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 no. E. There we go. Pongy. Soft spongy eyes. A middle card. Object. 
get that can't be the VCOD same but not the um, communication networks opening line adopted by confused tweeters no idea what that is a horse stopping to eat oats primarily shopping channel fearing hell art extraordinary exaggerated okay it's an anagram then exaggerated larger than life heart refuse collector so we've been going around Boffin. Place for shopping. Uh, I guess. Uh, communication networks. Newsletter. Okay, so how do we do this? Do we submit it now? Uh, submit. There we go. Okay, so that's taken five minutes. Um, and you could probably see, oh, it's gone away now. Come back. Um, you could see there weren't many points that, um, that required me to sort of stop and think. Um, and that's simply practice, um, especially practice at these sorts of clues. So in the Times, as you'll have seen if you watch the video we posted, on Monday, um, you know the clues can be devilishly deceptive. In the Telegraph, it tends to be a little bit more straightforward. It's not to say that there aren't moments where you have to pause for thought, but um, but in general, the clues are a little less, I suppose, devious. Um, so let's just have a quick flick through and see what we can see. So man is just chap here, resting, laying. A cleric is a chaplain. This is a double definition, place for shopping, at an outlet, and the channel is an outlet. Current, um, if something's current, it's in. A business is a firm, or a company, so it's a synonym for uh, company there, and then if you're weak, you're infirm. Here again, single is the definition. An anagram of file we, abandoned being the anagram indicator there, and then ship or SS is very common crossword parlance. Fearing hell art extraordinary, this that extraordinarily there is the anagram indicator. If something's uh, exaggerated, it's larger than life. Um, minor irritation is an itch. Problem scratching head. So you need a five letter word for a problem that you're going to remove the, the first letter from. Um, so what's that going to be? Hitch, obviously. I'm just thinking of glitch there, wondering if I have to remove both of the first letters, but now I think hitch is what, what's being thought about. Then here, found in bistro a stupendous cook. I, I didn't actually even read the whole clue here. I just saw the words found in, and I was I think I had an R at this point. I was looking for a five letter word beginning with R that would be found in the letters of the clue. And you can see there in the middle of bistro a stupendous R O A S T, roast, which of course means cook. This was a slightly interesting clue, 19 across. Um, I guess that could possibly hold you up because it's sort of, uh, it's not really, a, not really a standard cryptic clue, it's more of a sort of pun. So A B C D or A B C or D say, but you have to complete the sentence with a word that sort of makes sense in the context, so not E. Obviously A, B, C or D are not E, um, so that's the sort of cryptic sense of the clue, and then a note, A, B, C or D are obviously notes in the musical scale. Um, oath, this is, uh, oath is a four-letter word in fact, and it is also a four-letter word in the sense of a, you know, the four-letter word being a euphemism for some other four-letter words that are oaths. Um, oddly each is saying take the odd letters of the word each. 
i.e. the E and the C, still is static, so more than delighted you're ecstatic. Soft, that's the definition here, spongy. S for small, pongy for smelly. This one was, this one was annoyed me because I couldn't, I could immediately see it was an anagram of is near, uh, with bananas telling you that you had to sort of make make an anagram of those words. Uh, I knew it meant bread snack, so it should have been just a writing, but because sarni is a slightly slangy term, I, I just didn't think of it, so it took me far more seconds than it should have done. Um, and then success, short, short synonym for success, I was thinking win, then different tiles, okay, so I need an anagram of tiles at the end of the word win, where, where, or, where red or white are chosen is a wine list. Let's just have a look through the downs. So this was my first one in, one down. A nation short of a feature. Well, if you take the word, the letter A out of a country or a nation, so if you remove A from China, you get Chin, which is a feature on your face. And again, I can totally understand how somebody new to crosswords would think, well, that's crazy. Why did you think of... Um, you know, chin as a synonym for the word feature, but it's simply because I've done these a lot before and I know that feature is often used to indicate, um, you know, a facial feature. Um, twig is a sprig here, about new, n, and then a time for rejuvenation being spring. Now, I have to say, my crossword experience didn't help me very much about this clue because when I read it, I'm thinking, uh, I new is abbreviation for N obviously, and then I'm thinking T for an abbreviation for time, so I was trying to put NT in the middle of a word that meant twig here, to give me a word that meant rejuvenation. Now obviously you're spending some seconds there thinking of a wrong thought, and that's never going to make you quick. Uh, something for winter, then ending in Christmas was how I got into the three down. Ending in Christmas was quite clearly indicating the last letter of Christmas, the S. And then I had a three-letter word for present, well, I immediately thought now. And then snow, I could see how that was something you could find in winter. This was uh, this took me a little bit, the refuse collector here, going around on holiday. If you're on holiday, you're off. And then a bin is a refuse collector, something you collect rubbish in. And then genius is boffin. But again, um, the word with here. I found difficult because what we're, what the clue really is saying is it's refuse collector going around on holiday to give the a word that means genius. But the words, you know, the word with here is sort of it's a slightly strange, um, slightly strange word in that it's not it's not the clue isn't telling you what you need to do quite correctly. I think so. I wasn't that keen on the word with there. Um, then stallion here. This this is one of these interesting things where you see the apostrophe um, uh, in stopping here, indicating you need to remove a G from something. So here the word you remove the G from is stalling. So stalling obviously means stopping. Remove the G from stalling, you get stall in, and then that has to eat, i.e. it has to surround the first letter, the primary letter of the word oats. So stallion, again, not, not an easy clue. This one I needed all the checking letters to get, uh, so obviously a communication network here is a, a newsletter. And then I didn't actually pass this properly, but it looks like, oh no, in fact, I totally, totally misunderstood it. It's communication is a newsletter, networks opening is N, and then line is L, is entering an anagram of tweeters there. So the setter fooled me um, when I was going at speed. Um, eat down, admirer. So fan has a damp area. Well, um, what we've got here is we've got A, which is this A here, and then a damp area is a mire, M-I-R-E, and that's being bandaged, I it's contained within a doctor, D-R. So yeah, a nice clue. Mock trial if CIA involved. Involved is a very common anagram indicator. 
So then you're simply looking for 10 letters to anagram. Well, trial if CIA looks very promising. Mock artificial. Not too difficult. Should have got this more quickly. Card, I don't know, it has just so many meanings for me that I always shy away from clues like this. You know, it's quite clearly, it has to be a double definition. It's only two words. There's no question mark or anything like that. So we're looking for uh, a word that means middle and a word that means card. You want to see a heart is a type of card. In the middle of something is a heart. Um, 16 down, evocative is haunting. And then searching is hunting, and that's surrounding A for area. 18 down, I think I wrote this in very quickly, so ultimately abhorrent, I was immediately thinking of the last, i.e. the ultimate letter of the word abhorrent, that's this T, then a motive is a reason, and treason is a crime. Rubbish brood, double definition again, I'm lucky enough to know that uh, litter is a, uh, you know, a word that means both, so that was a, something I could write in, and then totally sacred did you say, well, when you see did you say in a crossword clue, you need to be thinking of homophones. So it's a word that sounds like another word. And holy, H-O-L-Y, if you say it, can sound exactly like holy, W-H-O-L-L-Y, which means totally. So once you figure out that sort of correspondence between those two words, you're well on your way to solving 22 down. Then here's a classic piece of crossword ease here. Lower. So whenever normal people read the word lower, they think of beneath or underneath something else. Um, I always think cow or ox or something that lows or goes moo. And uh, so cow being the most obvious example. L can be abbreviation for large. So C O W L, cow, that's a type of hood. Finally, cut oxygen perhaps, then hydrogen. Well, the word perhaps here is very helpful. Oxygen perhaps means that we're looking for something oxygen is an example of. So oxygen is, a, I suppose it's an element. Um, that's part of the air. But most commonly it's a gas. So GAS, then hydrogen, the abbreviation, the chemical element hydrogen is H. It gives us gash, which of course means cut. And so there you go. Um, so a quick run through of the normal telegraph there. I hope useful, um, and we'll see you again next time on Cracking the Cryptic.